everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're diving into the latest Tesla software update that was released in November 2023. So Tesla regularly release software updates over the air to give your car new features and enhance existing ones and fix bugs. In the latest update, they added a feature called single pull autopilot activation. Is it an enhancement? I've got some thoughts. Autopilot, as we know, is the magic that lets a Tesla steer, accelerate, and brake within its lane. It's a fusion of both traffic-aware cruise control and auto steer. Previously, activation was a single pull for cruise control and double pull for the combination. Now, let's test out this update. Single pull. Auto steer beta will continue when the gear stalk is pushed down once while driving manually. If the gear stalk is pushed up while driving and is active, the feature will cancel and the car will return to manual driving. Okay, so here we are on a single lane road, 80 kilometer speed limit. We can see that there are white line markings. Autopilot is ready. One single pull down activates both traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. That's great. That makes perfect sense by taking something that's a duplication of going two taps and making it single. On paper, that sounds really good, and in this practical example, it works really well. However, what about when we're on the freeway? So here we are on the freeway, and this is where autopilot shines. And this is also where we encounter the downside. So right now I'm driving behind a vehicle that we are doing 103 kilometers and the traffic aware cruise control is maintaining that distance, slowing our vehicle down. Now, if we want to overtake that vehicle, so let's indicate, change lanes. Oh, and we notice a drastic decrease in our speed. And we have to speed up. 110 zone yet we're doing 105 because of the traffic aware cruise control that is maintaining our distance from the vehicle all right so let's begin overtaking indicate clearing and as soon as we exit this lane traffic aware cruise control immediately turns off dropping us below 100 kilometers an hour that's not good we're doing 100 zone on the freeway we're going down to 80 so let's try and indicate change lanes Oh crap, cars slow down, I had to try and guess and speed up. That's really not safe, that is a dangerous situation. I've got to get used to that change. So surely I'm not alone with that hazard of trying to guess where the accelerator position is. Let me know if you are a Tesla driver and you're very used to autopilot, how are you finding this change? So previously the vehicle had the ability to simply turn off auto steer and maintain traffic aware cruise control so that you didn't have to worry about the correct position of the accelerator. But now, as soon as you change lanes and it deactivates, you have to guess roughly where it is that you need to put your foot, which causes quite a significant impact. The traffic behind you could be a hazard, and to me, is definitely a step backwards in the mission of autopilot. Maybe it's just me, but I believe that the whole idea of autopilot is to ease that burden off the driver, so I like resting my foot just off the accelerator, ready to take control at any moment. In summary, to me, some of these autopilots are dumb smarts. On that Optimus side, I know that Tesla can roll out further software updates and address these issues. Let's just hope they do. That being said, this feature now presents a situation where if you do deactivate autopilot, you have to quickly assess roughly where that accelerator position is going to be. I don't think that's a good thing. In fact, I think that can be a dangerous hazard to other drivers that could be very close behind you. I don't think it's a very well thought out idea, or is it? So let's consider the Tesla software development team. Clearly looking at this on paper, it does look like an improvement. But did they consider the frustration of the end user experience when they're using it on the freeway and it is deactivating the traffic aware cruise control? Pessimist in me thinks that yes, they absolutely were aware of this and they knew that the end user experience would be impacted because the simple solution is pay $5,000 Australian to get enhanced autopilot, which gives the car the ability to overtake traffic when on the freeway by changing lanes, maintaining the speed, 
simple solution. I sincerely hope not because that would be absolutely going the wrong way with a software update. But the optimist in me says that it is absolutely a software change for the better and I could just be one of these old people that's resistant to change. So I'm gonna take the advice of do a lap. I'm going to learn, adapt and progress. I'm going to keep the feature on for a month, really try it out and find out if I can get used to it and if I will see it as a benefit in one month's time or a ploy to make more money. If you want to find out how I feel, make sure you subscribe. Check out the next video once I release it a little bit later. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Bye. Well, seeing as though I'm here, uh, coming from a standstill and about to enter the freeway at 110, I guess it's a good opportunity to test the takeoff performance. You know. Ah, twisted my arm. We're on hold, zero, 110, and go. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it does not get old.